Hi guys, this is Matt from West Park Fitness. We're running an eight week fitness challenge to see who can improve their fitness. We're using the MyZone fitness test to see who can get the biggest gap in their score. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to complete the MyZone fitness test. You can pick any cardio equipment, so you can pick a bike, a treadmill, a rower, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna use the cross trainer so you can follow me and see how it's done. So you need to open your MyZone app and you need to have your MyZone belt connected. Select your workout tile. Once you select your workout tile, your heart rate should come up if you're connected. Click the zone match button. It should come up first. If it doesn't, you can select the 15 minute section and it will come up. You need to load the MyZone fitness test. Make sure your heart rate comes up to the dark gray zone before you start it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So you get your heart rate to come up, you need to start moving. On the cross trainers, you can use resistance or the speed that you're moving at to start the test. I've now hit the gray zone. I'm gonna let it just come up a little bit higher to make sure that I stay there. And once I'm happy to go, I press the play button, I accept the warning, and we're good to go. And we're off. So I have one minute in the gray zone. So I need to hold my heart rate between 50 and 60% of my maximum heart rate. Okay? So I'm gonna go for that for 50 seconds. Okay guys, I'm coming up to my first change. So we're trying to go blue zone. I went a little bit early. So you can see, still have five seconds left. I picked up my speed and I also put the gears up. I changed a little bit early, which put my zone match percentage down. But that's okay, as long as you're finished over 80%, your score will count, okay? So I got three minutes in the blue zone. We'll see you in a few. Okay, so guys, we're coming up to our change the green zone. So we're going to try and get it a little bit more accurate this time. So my heart rate needs to come up to 136 beats for me to get into that green zone. I'm right about 134 at the minute. With 10 seconds left, I need to start to push. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker. It's on its way up, we're 134. Almost there. If you don't get your change straight away, don't worry about it. So that one was quite a quick one. If it takes a bit longer, don't worry about it again. As long as your zone match percent is over 80, you'll be all good. Got three and a half minutes in the green zone. Hi guys, another quick tip on the cross trainer to get your heart rate up. Instead of just speed and resistance, you can change your stride. So at the minute, I'm at a low guide, glide. But if I put it up to a climb and start getting my knees up to hip height, that's gonna get my heart rate up. So to do that, push the button. Turn it up to number 15, your heart rate's gonna come up with it. Okay, so guys, here comes one of the tougher changes. You gotta get up and hold the yellow zone. So 20 seconds left. I'm up at 78%, so I'm close to that 80. When it comes to the last 10 seconds, I'm ready to push, okay? So here we go, 10 seconds. Pushing my speed, knocking the phone out of Matt's hand. Three, two, one. You can sprint a little just to get it up. Come on, come on, and there you go. So you have four minutes here, and then we're gonna explain the purple zone to you. So see you in four. All right guys, we're coming up to the last transition. So we gotta go purple for one minute. The purple zone is specific to the MyZone test. It's from 84 to 86% of your max heart rate. It gives you a more accurate result if you hold it there for a minute. So here we go, five, Four, three. Now I'm already in the purple zone, but that's okay. The purple zone is also part of that yellow zone. So remember, yellow zone is 80 to 90 percent. Purple is 84 to 86. So you can get a more accurate result. Okay, guys, coming up to the end of the test. Stay in that purple zone right to the end. Let's do the 10 second count there. We'll watch Keelan here as he comes to the end. If you're on the cross trainer, come to a dead stop. Nice deep breaths, don't talk, don't move, don't even take any water. You've got a whole minute to get that heart rate down. All right guys, so there we go. You can see what'll happen the second you finish your test. You can grab a drink of water if you want. This screen comes up, 
make sure you click the add it to your feed so that the test comes up on your screen, okay? My score was 36. You don't really have to worry about your score. The whole point of the challenge is to improve your fitness. So it doesn't matter what score you get on day one. In eight weeks time when you retest, you wanna see a better score there. Where you can check your results after you add it to your feed. If you wanna check your MyZone test results at any point, you go back to your home screen, go into your body metrics, and your latest score will always show up right here, okay? Nice one, guys. Okay, guys, just to recap, it's an eight-week fitness challenge. So from January, you've got eight weeks to do one fitness test, train to improve your score, and then get the second fitness test in. You can start at any point. The longer that you have, the better chance of increasing your fitness. As long as you get that second test in before the end date, the winner will be decided by the biggest difference between test one and test two. So our focus at Westpac for the new year is to encourage you to try and improve your fitness. So we want to get you moving and we want to give you some kind of a goal to work towards after the Christmas weeks. So keep an eye out here. We're going to be posting some workouts that will help you get fitter. Also use the fitness team, so use us, use the other guys, to give you programs that will help you get fit. If you don't have my zone belts, you're going to need a my zone belt for this challenge. So we do sell them at reception. So grab them from there. Discounted prices. Discounted prices too. Good luck, guys. Okay. <laughs> Good luck.